Hello, welcome to another UK University Admissions Clinic. I hope you're well. Now, um, I've got a few pieces of information I'd like to say to you. After that, if you have any questions, I'll give you some time if you have any questions at the moment with regards to UK University Admissions, and then we'll take it from there. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone to this uh, univer UK University Admissions Clinic. As I said, it's we're here at, well, what would you mean by we? There is no we, it's actually me. <laughs> We, I'm here basically for you to answer your questions. So thank you for coming. It's Saturday morning. It's a time to chillax. I get that, but I appreciate it. So I just want to say um, welcome, welcome. So, okay, let me say the points, then I'll start waving. I'll start waving. I will wave. Actually, I like waving. It's cool. Right. Okay. Right. So basically, the first point I'd like to say is, guess what? Guess what, guys? Um, priority service and super priority service is up and running with UKVI for your visa applications. Yay! So it is actually happening in Nigeria um, if, you, if you're applying from there and other parts of the world, it's rolled out all around the world. So if you wish to have, what I'd highly recommend is if you are coming into the UK for a visa, student visa or any other type of visas, the priority service is open and the super priority service is open. Um, the reason why I say that is especially for those who are doing pre-masters and also um, international year, you know, the university foundation year, every week that you're late, you need to pay uh, a late fee. Mm -hmm. I believe it's about £100 per week. So uh, I would advise you as your consultant, if I was to work for you as your representative, I would highly recommend that you actually um, go for either the priority service or the super priority service. You have to pay a bit more, but it's, it's better to pay that rather than paying the late fee. So that's point number one. Right, um, I have had students in the past who actually said, I don't talk enough about bachelors. So I'm actually gonna address that. I'm gonna say that as a priority right now. So basically international year. Um, I'm just gonna lay it out to you. So basically what it is is this. Because um, for example, the studies that you have at the moment, I'm talking about students who've done WAIEC or NEC or any secondary school education anywhere around the world. Um, to be in par with a UK university admission, you need to do an inter you may need to do an international year. So at Dundee University it's called International Stage One or Two, or at De Montfort University, for example, it's known as International Year Zero or International Year One. So let me give you Nigeria for example. If you have an average score, this is why I call NEC, or if you've completed in the last five years, if your average score is B through above then you do the first year international year one, followed by year two of the bachelors. You save 15,000 pounds, you save one year worth of fees for the first year of your degree, you go straight on the second year because your average score is B3 above for WIAC or NECO, okay? Or if your average score is not B3 above, it's, it's not that, you can do international year zero, where you do that first, and then following that you, do, you start your bachelors. So your visa will be for four years. Okay, so any of you guys out there, if you if you know anybody who's just, just completed a WIAC or NECO in the last five years um, and wish to study bachelors in the UK, I'm more than happy to help you out. Now, the question is, what do you want to study? The list is endless. Okay, there and most majority of the courses don't require IELTS. So if you have friends and family, you know, the young ones who actually who are in that position, please share this live. So the only courses which you do need IELTS from the top of my head is if you want to study nursing as a, as a pre-registration course and social work. So there are certain courses which does require IELTS, but majority of them, as long as you've got C, uh, C6 or above in English language, wire corneco, and you can uh, produce your, you know, you get that pin number, the white pin, you can actually purchase that. As long as you can produce that, then you're good to go. OK, we have several intakes and I'm more than happy to help you guys because that's that's what I'm here for. So I'm authorized partner for five universities to do for that particular course. So De Montfort University is one of them. Bangor University, which is great for psychology and uh, uh, accounting related courses. Dundee University, you know, I always talk about Dundee University. So I'm an authorized partner for the international year there. Uh, Bradford University, another high-ranking university, where, again, they've got a variety of courses there as well. But some of their courses may need IELTS, but consult, talk to me and then we can, we, can, we can decide together, not a problem. And uh, one more in London. For those of you who do want to go to London, I don't blame you. There's Greenwich University. 
where there again there's a variety of courses just let me know and we'll take it from there right any questions on international year so far my concealer's not that brilliant today but it's okay any questions on international year not yet okay so i just want to say hello to everybody so adrian george david welcome welcome chinonso steven near jeriki adayazi uh solo john ojo uh we've got to file i know to file uh t blings love the name um uh, okay chino okay steven i'll call you steven is i have a h and in office technology and management fantastic I'd love to help you out. So basically, if you've done your completed your HND in the last seven years, there are four universities that are, I can help you with an admission for pre masters. Um, so yeah, Chinon uh, so see Stephen, if you want to contact me, I'm more than happy to be your representative to consult with you with regards to admission. Um, you can get as early as January or April. Okay, so talk to me and we'll take it from there. If you haven't completed your HND in the last seven years, it's actually been longer than that. Don't fear, I have a solution for that as well. Um, I do, I, there is one university, which is Greenwich University, where I'm more than happy to help you, where they will accept, listen to this, unrestricted study gaps. Okay, if you have more than seven years, study gap, not a problem. I'm more than happy to help you at Greenwich University, which is based in central London. Okay, Stephen, so let me know if that's good. Uh, hello, Aloy and Tarek Digital. Uh, how much is the master's? Okay, so Stephen, what it is, is that I specialize specifically pre-masters leading onto a master's and there are many advantages of doing a pre-masters. DM me direct and I'll be able to share that with you. Okay, hello, Darmi. Hello, John. Hello, FM MoFM and Fatima and Saz Martin and Nancy let's see let's see it's a really nice day today guess what oh guess what today it's oh I'm, i need to write this down you know um it's that time of year uh it's really exciting time this i love this time of year especially end of august we're going into september because i have several students i've got several students who are actually applying for their visas right now it's really exciting time nervous and exciting time so i'm helping them with that also i have had students uh, actually arriving into the uk in different parts of the country and they're all settling in and we're you know talking and connecting again um you know in the uk and i've got students who are in the future coming in a couple of weeks time um so things are happening so if you want to if you want to join them just dm me direct with regards to the time i'm going to actually uh, write in the caption the web link for demography university's graduation ceremony they're all online on youtube live i would like you to be walking down that aisle Okay, make it happen. I am an authorised partner for De Montfort University for Masters, for Bachelors and for Pre-Masters in International Year. If you wish an admission at De Montfort University, have a look at the graduation YouTube live. You'll see what it's what it feels like. Um, my foot isn't very well today, but I, I really want to go there to take some footage so that you can see how it feels like it to be a graduate in the UK. It, it's, it is a nice feeling. Um, I've graduated there twice, so I know the feeling. But yeah. Right, hello uh, Abdullah, right Lolly, hello, good morning Mufida, Tilaparis, Pamali, Martin Everest, nice name, plus, I'm saying hello, hello. Right, any more questions? Um, I think I'm done. I'm done. So I just want to talk to you about the foundation, uh, pre uh, no sorry, the international year leading on to bachelors. I've talked about the priority services, which is now available all around the world. Uh, super priority service or priority service and I would highly recommend all your agents or consultants would recommend you do that because we want you to come on time the university is expected to come on time and obviously you've paid for it that you don't want to miss your classes okay uh, so I've talked about priority I've talked about international year and I've talked about the graduate ceremony oh last thing right there's nine of you watching which is fantastic I really appreciate this now if you know any family and friends who actually own a secondary school a private secondary school um in west africa or anywhere around the world i would more than happy to i would love to connect with them because i'd like to start um, promoting international year and bachelors so if you know any head teachers of private secondary schools if you could let me know that'd be great if you could connect us that'd be great right we have another question so adayas aside january what's the next intake ah good so basically the next intake is april january i think it's getting a bit tight now because we're at the end of april uh, august we're approaching September. 
Um, unless you've got the money, um, I wouldn't recommend January. The next intake would be um, April. Um, for social work, for nursing, those really, they just like that. By February, all the seats are gone. So it depends what you want to do. But DM me direct, but the next intake is April. Okay? Right. Any more questions? Right. Adrian George David, what do you advise a third class graduate? Oh my goodness! I need to speak to you. Right. Okay, so basically, um, how do I pin this? How do I pin this? Pin. Okay, so basically, Adrian said, I hope that's okay. It says, what do you, what do you advise a third class graduate who intends to go into social work? Right, so basically, the first thing is, uh, I can help you with an offer, okay? Um, that would be at Dundee University for social work. You'll need to do pre-masters followed by masters. This is for third class graduates, but there is two conditions. One condition is that have you actually graduated within the last seven years and also you will need IELTS okay for social work for those who actually want to go into the field of social work after graduation so you do need IELTS talk to me and we'll, I'll tell you what the levels are required and also if you've graduated in the last seven years I'll be able to help you with Dundee now if you think ah oh, man I don't want to do an IELTS not a problem if you want to do advanced social work at Dundee again I can help you for that you don't need IELTS Okay, now what can you do from a master's in advanced social work? As the name suggests on the tin, it's actually going into research. So if you want to go down that route where you want to do research, perhaps go into PhD, go up the ladder that way, advanced social work. But if you want to actually practice social work in the UK, they need to do a master's MSc in social work. Uh, just let me know. Okay, uh, uh, Adrian, Adrian, let me know if that's okay. Right, okay, how do I unpin this? Okay, but I don't know how to do this. I can't push the comments now. How do I? Oh, okay, I've done it. I can move it. Right, next. Um, please, I dropped a question. Yeah, I've just answered you. Hello, morning, guys. Morning, morning, morning. Um, next, uh, any more questions? I'm studying in Russia. I really want... Oh, okay. Um, uh, talk to me. Is it Lil Moa? If you want to uh, DM me direct, if you're studying in, in Russia... Uh, is it after your course or in the middle of your course? Let me know and we can take it from there. Not a problem. I'm more than help, happy to help you out. Right, hello, Jasmine, Mora Loco, very important. Thank you. Any direct masters for a third class graduate? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm an authorized partner for universities for pre-masters. Now, um, there are many, many advantages of actually doing a pre-masters. I actually need to do a reel about this, so you need to know. Now, let's see if you actually know yourself. How do you unpin this? I don't know how to do this. Okay, I don't know how to do this. Right, are you ready for this? Write this down. Okay, so basically, the advantages of doing a pre-masters instead of just direct masters are the following. R listen to this. Right, number one is you have a longer visa. Okay, to date, I have not heard any students say, uh, you know, I all of the students, how long do you want to stay? Up to now, to date, I haven't heard any international students who said that I, I want to you know be here for a short period uh, they they want to be here for the long game so number one you can actually get a longer visa number two if you have a longer visa no brainer you can actually have a you have more of an earning potential okay it's a cost but think of it as an investment number two so first of all longer visa secondly you've got the uh, potential of earning more because you're actually here for longer number three um it, it's actually um if you want to change your career pre-masters if you, if you don't want to do what you're doing now and you want to change your career, that's where the pre-masters come in. Number four, if you haven't stepped into the university um, in a lecture theatre for a long time, so you need to refresh all your academic skills. Trust me, guys, uh, the, there are fundamental differences between, universe, uh, between countries in terms of um, how education is taught. Okay, so let's say UK versus, let's say Nigeria, for example, or let's say Saudi Arabia, or let's say Qatar or Bangladesh. So there are fundamental differences. So in terms of pre-masters, we actually teach you in the pre-masters academic referencing, how to do post a presentation. Um, and then you do other things, you know, referencing. That's, that's all very important. How to paraphrase, how to write academically for your coursework or your assignments, and even for your dissertation. All that will be enveloped in the pre-masters for you. Also, one more advantage is, um, I'll put a, post a reel about this next week or in a couple of weeks' time. Doing a pre-masters, they actually start to trickle in units related to your masters. 
So this pre-masters, my friend, is actually a preparation program for masters. And according to statistics, I can give you the stats if you want. Students who actually have done the pre-masters do much better than people who are going direct to masters. Statistically, it is proven. So let me know what you think. Um, are pre-masters more expensive? That no, nope, they're not more expensive. No. Um, talk to me, and then we can talk about this. You can get scholarships for pre-masters. Not a problem. Okay, not a problem. Right, I think we're done. Uh, okay, I think we're done. Oh, nice. I don't know how long that took. Right, so I just want to say, have a very wonderful weekend. For in the UK, just thought I'd let you know. FYI, Monday is our last bank holiday before Christmas. So Monday is a bank holiday in the United Kingdom, England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, where banks, universities, offices, schools and colleges, everything is closed. Retail things are open like shops, you know, fashion things and shopping. But in terms of offices, they're all closed. So don't panic if you haven't heard from me or from anybody else who works in an office because it is a bank holiday on Monday. And then everything goes back, re revolves back to normality from Tuesday. OK, so I hope you have a lovely, wonderful weekend um you know stay safe be good if you wish to have a uk university admission you know what to do just dm me direct and we'll take it from there until next time my friends take care bye bye peace